seem unusually preoccupied today, Lawrence. No doubt, just overwork, sir. I seem to be suffering from a mild hallucinatory symptom. You, Lawrence? Roar, darling. <laughs> came to see if you changed your mind about my fantasy. As you can see, I've learned to trade my beautiful tail for these awkward legs you mortals insist on wearing. Yes, apparently you've learned a great deal about magic, Naya, but still very little about unselfishness or good manners. <laughs> now, Roar, <laughs> I promised myself to be above common anger, no matter how justified. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Lawrence. If you don't mind, sir, I'll be off to replan the dinner menu. I'm changing the entree. I had planned on fish. Fish! Fish! Now, 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 oh, now. Father Neptune, your royal daughter asks that you teach a lesson to he who has just insulted her. I warn you, Naya. No! <laughs> Seems I've been struck by a wave, sir. Um, no doubt an isolated uh, thunder shower, Lawrence. And now, why don't you put that minnow in the pond and uh, change into some dry cloth? Yes, sir. What does one do with a thousand-year-old child? Give her her fantasy, Rourke. And she will first give you ecstasy beyond imagination. Well? I'm sorry, Naya. When I kissed you, you felt nothing. Oh, I felt a great deal. I felt a deep green sea closing about me and the cold tentacles of seaweed pulling me down into dark, icy depths. If you were the gentleman you pretend to be, Rourke, you'd forget about my past. Naya, Naya, why don't you go back to the sea, go back to your own realm and be content? Content? You mean bored, bored, bored? You refuse my fantasy again. Then that does it. Now you're really 